What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to tutorial 11 and today's topic will be how to create Jira issues in bulk from the REST API using Python. Okay, so this is going to be a very interesting tutorial. So let me just open my Visual Studio code. Uh, okay, so if you remember guys in the tutorial one, we have created a single issue like uh, like this sort of things. Uh, means like uh, project is this and here we put some sort of like summary and description but in this tutorial we are going to do the same thing but in a different way and you can say it a uh, more advanced way for example we have a uh, we have a, a csp file over here yes like this okay and in this csp file this uh, these are the various uh, rows uh, in this fashion and every line is actually uh, uh, has one uh, not has uh, uh, this is a summary and this is a description and this is a project name so in our case uh, we have only one project and uh, that is why all details so what is actually uh, we are going to do so this is a project and on that project we are going to create a, a, a issue and issue type is task and and this is a summary of the issue and this is a description of the issue this is a summary of the issue this is a description like this okay so what we'll do we are going to use the same code but we'll be going to do some sort of for looping uh, and that is purely based on python okay so what i'll do i'll just copy paste this code first here okay so until this part is fine the looping will happen here so let me write import io okay and after that let's do the actual things it should be with io dot open and here we are going to write issue dot csv okay here it will be r read the encoding like this okay then data equals to f1 dot read right okay like this so what i'll do i'll just try to print this thing now just to check whether we are getting everything or not so let me just uh, mark this part commented here okay because i don't need the remaining part okay i don't know what is happened here control what is this yes fine so let me run this thing now Mm. yes so it should be yes let's start run the okay so if you see here i'm able to uh, like print whatever is here i'm just able to print now i need to do some sort of parsing okay so to do to do the actual parsing we'll be going to use uh, like normal python mechanism okay so if you see here every this is actually a uh, complete string and this string is actually splitted and uh, new line character we can split actually so what will happen data equals to data dot split okay and it should be something like this and after that let me print again so it is it will it will going to print a list and every list item is going to uh, like hold uh, every line as an list element okay let me run this thing see this is one list item this is one list item like something like this okay so now we'll do again for looping then for rows in data then print then maybe i just so this is also going to print this thing see fine okay now what will happen 
so let's remove this here and here here okay so everything is here now we will be going to write the actual uh, code okay so um, just think that uh, rows means uh, this one okay this one and every line is actually split by this thing so what will happen here now uh, this TTS is going to be uh, rows dot split okay and inside that it will be a comma and after that it will be the first element then it will be zero okay then summary will be the uh, I think summary will be the second element okay so second element means one and description will be the third element so third element means index of two okay like this okay so if I run this thing uh, so what will happen it will uh, go and create the issues like why it will go and create the issues because I am passing uh, uh, like this a complete JSON payload in this data attribute and this is actually going to hit this URL and after that is going to go so I need to just change this uh, API thing okay just hold on I believe in yes I have this thing over here so let me just copy paste this thing okay done so let me just remove this thing remove this not remove okay fine so let me clear everything and run let's see see one issue created two issue created three and I am getting issue ID actually I'll really verify this thing once everything is done okay so one two three four five six seven eight nineteen total ten issues are created and in our file also we have uh, like total 10 rows so we'll check now so we'll check uh, issue ID TTS 27 let's see uh, let's refresh this thing see all came 27 28 like this came and if you open this thing here see testing one created by Python that so that is what actually we uh, for one it is created by Python for testing two is it will be testing two created by Python something like this so this is very simple very easy and if you know how to uh, write Python code and how to do a for looping in Python you can undo whatever you want like that is the thing you only require minimal knowledge on Jira REST API and remaining thing is completely Python so that is why it is super like powerful super handy to know Python and as I told you like if you're going to start your career as a software engineer software developer or like a fresher just going to start your career with some company then definitely that company is going to be used Jira means if not like uh, within like couple of years or couple of months probably you're going to uh, like get the flavor of Jira so if you know these things uh, know this sort of things know this sort of automation so definitely uh, like you will uh, it will be help it will actually help you to uh, like uh, how can I explain like uh, if you know something which uh, actually not known to the other guys then definitely it is going to help you in, in, in ev each and every aspect right because when I started my journey as a software developer or engineer I actually not having any idea of Jira I, uh, I actually came to know about Jira like while working on the project and, and, and that took like one year one and a half year and again automation I did not know that time but recently like maybe a couple of years ago I actually came to know like yeah in Python using Python you can do this sort of things and after that I help like uh, in, 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 in different ways or various way for my project or uh, in my project for my uh, uh, for my client actually and they are very uh, like happy actually with my work so that is why I thought of uh, like creating this tutorial cause 90% or maybe 80% companies are using Jira for their uh, project management, collaboration, issue tracking or whatever thing. So if you know this sort of things, definitely it's going to help you. And for big companies and big projects, probably if you are not technical, if you are uh, like going to work in the PMO or Scrum Master or any, anything, like this is not only for those are freshers. Like if you're Scrum Master or if you are like already working as a PMO or whatever role like if you are heavily working on Jira every daily basis for administrator or other related stuff if you know this sort of things then also it will be going to easy for you 
to do your uh, like day to day job in a more efficient and a better way so that is why i highly recommend you guys to uh, start the tutorial or start the playlist from the beginning just try to watch each and every tutorial slowly one by one and as i told you my each and every tutorials are connected to the next tutorial so definitely we'll uh, find the proper path that what i'm actually trying to achieve so if you know here that in the tutorial one i just uh, I actually uh, showcase how to create a single issue and after that in this tutorial I showcase that how to create multiple issues so in this way like we can do so many things actually right okay and 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 and, and similarly in the next tutorial probably you can uh, create or you can assign the issues to user like you have a bulk file there you have the project ID you have the uh, issue summary issue description and you want to assign those issue simultaneously between uh, different user and all users IDs are actually written in the CSP file then how to do that so that sort of advanced topic also will be going to cover in the next tutorial okay so I think this is enough for today enough of talking but before I close this tutorial or conclude the tutorial I would like to uh, uh, request you guys please provide some feedback uh, on the uh, on the on the comment box cause I'm not actually able to understand how you guys are actually finding this course whether it is good or bad if it is bad then also fine please write me so that I can improve and eventually if I improve I'll be able to uh, like create proper quality content for all of you and if you're finding it's like good for your project please also uh, post those things so that it will be kind of uh, it, will, it, will, it will going to work as a motivation or inspiration for other guys as well okay so enough of talking guys uh, that's it for today we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day